Call of Duty has always been a big part of the gaming community. While many hardcore gamers don't exactly love the I only play Call of Duty in Madden crowd, the franchise has admittedly had some great games. I recently attempted to retry Warzone with their mobile game with less than good success. My iPhone 12 just wasn't up to par to play the game smoothly, so we go back to proper handhelds. The Steam Deck can handle some of the games just fine and we're diving into what is arguably one of the best the franchise has to offer, the original Modern Warfare game. So let's dive into how I've gotten the Steam Deck to run Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. For a bit of trivia, Modern Warfare Remastered is a remaster of Call of Duty 4 from back in 2007. It was the first game of the series to have a more modern setting versus World Wars 1 and 2. And while it may not have perfected the formula as other games have later, it's a really good game to trek through. And thankfully, you can now buy it on its own. Originally, you had to buy one of the upgraded editions of Infinite Warfare to get this remaster, which is what I did to get it on PlayStation 4. But now you can just buy it separately on its own Steam page, which often goes on a 50% sale to only $20. Now let's go into settings and what you need to do for good performance. And that really depends on what exactly you want and whether you're playing the campaign or multiplayer. Let's start with the campaign. This is one of those games where the game engine and cutscenes are separated. All the cinematic mission briefings will be shown to you with a locked 30 frames per second, regardless of what the game's settings are. But thankfully that lock goes away the moment you have control in the field. The game will default around high and extra settings for graphics, and this does work well. The initial level will almost never drop under 60 FPS, though later missions will. I had everything set on high and turning around or going in and out of scope views, would drop to the 50s and sometimes the high 40s. This happens pretty much exclusively in the larger and more open areas. When you're trekking through the inside of buildings, it'll maintain that 60. To mitigate these drops, I found turning shadows off will help a pretty good amount as well as turning off some of the extra options like anti-aliasing, post-processing, etc. This will eliminate a lot of those drops. Some areas where moving the camera would always drop into the 50s on normal and high settings would keep to 60 with shadows turned off. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to get rid of all of these drops. It will dip into the 50s every so often in the more intensive areas, but it's mostly stable. As for multiplayer, well, that kind of depends on what time of day you play the game. Modern Warfare Remastered's multiplayer is plenty active if you're playing on a console, but on Steam and PC, it has an extremely limited player base. I can't really get into any matches when I play late at night. In fact, I've only managed to find two matches in all of the days I've been testing it on the Steam Deck. But once you get into the matches, I've settled on the graphical settings with everything down on normal and shadows turned off. It's not perfect just like the campaign, but it pretty much won't drop under 53 to 55 FPS during gameplay. So considering all of that, my suggestion would be normal or high settings with disabling shadows. Depending on how you want your frame rate to be, you could lock the deck down to 40 FPS if you want stability, though I don't really see issues with it being at 60 and occasionally dropping into the 50s. Either way, you still get a nice and smooth experience of Call of Duty 4 on the go. That brings us to battery life, and this isn't half bad for a 3D Call of Duty game regardless of its age. When you have brightness turned up, you're going to get about 3 hours out of this game, while lowering brightness down will increase that to around 4 hours. That's not crazy, but it's more than I expected. Now as we wrap this up, would I recommend Call of Duty 4 Remastered to Steam Deck users? If you want to play the campaign, sure, go for it. The game can be made to run extremely well and smooth with small drops into the 50s in pretty much all aspects of the game. It's just unfortunate that it takes some digging and looking to actually find a match in multiplayer. And that's all I have for you today. I'll be back soon with more Steam Deck performance and reviews. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.